In the previous tutorial, we created this sign up activity which has these three edit text and some text and buttons. And in this tutorial, we will be building sign in activity which will be looking like this at the end of the tutorial. So, we already created the activity as you can see here login activity which has this uh, activity login.xml file and there is nothing inside. So instead of just uh, start writing the whole code again and creating that same edit text again, we can just copy all the code from activity sign up and paste it to activity login. Now here we just need to change the IDs and some a little bit changes will be enough. So let's start first thing we need to do is change this sign up that is almost everywhere to sign in. So we can do that with command or key which is find and replace and provide the sign up and change it to sign in. And here we need to replace this one so click replace. We need also need to replace this one and let's go upward. Okay, I accidentally write this uh, sign as uh, sync up instead of sign up, and it actually found some as we mistakenly uh, write on the sign sync sync up instead of sign up. So first fix them in sign up activity. Here we need to change this sign sync up to sign up. Okay, replace this one as well. What happened to this text view? Okay, remove this one. It is okay now. So here we need to change from sign sign in sign up to sign in. So replace this one and this one and this one and this one. We need to move upward. Change this one, change this one okay okay now all the ids are replaced from sign up to sign in and we need to change the text view as well we need to change this text view from sign up to sign in it should not be sign in sign in but it should be sign in sign up we shouldn't be replacing this one now there is no error and we need to change it to from sign sign in to sign up as we are in sign in activity so we can refer to sign up activity and this sign up text should be sign in or login And we need to get rid of this repeat password. Just remove it. As we are using the relative layout, so everything is uh, related to other items. And if we remove one, and it will create mess throughout the layout. So we need to refer it again to below this edit text. So here we need to pass ID of this edit text. And it is all fixed and now we need to uh, yep that's okay so let's run the app but before we need to change the intent filters from sign up activity to login activity let's run the app okay now the sign in activity is there and you can see we have successfully created this thing it is asking for email and password and login button is there and the custom buttons are there too this is the complete interface now in the next tutorial we will be building the we will start writing code to implement the sign in functionality thank you for watching